Hi everyone, this is Daniel Chia. Today I'm going to be reacting to a saxophone cover of Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. And there are many, many covers of this beautiful song online. One of my favorite songs as well. But this cover is by a Japanese lady called Kaori Kobayashi. And we're going to be taking a look at her playing on this song. So let's jump right in. Nothing's gonna change my love for you. So immediately I can hear really nice bright tone, so nice high baffled mouthpiece and I think she uses a labelle mouthpiece with a Yamaha saxophone, so nice crisp clear sound for this melody which is really really nice. Looks like some sort of ring ligature over there. Very nice, tasteful grace notes, which I love as well. Really nice entry with the full band coming in here. It looks like she's using an Audio-Technica wired microphone, which I love and use as well. So that's pretty cool. So first verse and chorus, really nice. So for a bright sound, she's really getting a rich core. It doesn't ever get too shrill, which is really nice. So her tone might not be to everyone's liking, but I think for a bright sound from a high baffle metal mouthpiece and a Yamaha, it's, it's really beautiful, very nice and well balanced. So let's check out the second verse. So one thing is the alto sax almost looks like a tenor on her, which is uh, really interesting. She's definitely using a Yamaha Custom 82Z unlacquered because from here I can tell it's a Yamaha and that, that unlacquered finish is, is only something that Yamaha makes. So really nice sound from a, a Yamaha Custom Z.
really love her range of dynamics and you can see she's really leading the band and pulling them along. Nice half-step modulation there, really nice way to build the dynamics. Start of a solo, probably over the chorus chords now. Nice building up of a climax, nice split tone there on the high register. Nice repeated motifs that really help to build that intensity. back into the melody again for the chorus so really nicely built up solo you know using a lot of pentatonics you know some chromaticism there some bebopish lines but you know use of altissimo everything very well measured very well controlled you know not not going too crazy and the band in general seems to be really relaxed but still able to give her that energy and pushing her along and for her you know also very minimal movements but she's really building that intensity through her playing and and the use of these um, elements that she's very carefully planned and you know i think it's it just turns out like a beautiful solo and yeah really really nice
Yeah, man. Overall, one of really one of the best versions, instrumental versions of this song I've seen on YouTube. You know, just great tone, great playing, her use of her embellishments, um, just beautiful, dynamic control is amazing. You know, really being able to lead her band and, and build that intensity towards the climax and then ending off so nicely, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I really, really love this version and so much to learn from her playing there. You know, just getting that good solid tone, even though you're having a bright setup, you know, you still want to make sure you have a sound that doesn't thin out. You know, during her solo, really nicely built up, you know, simple pentatonic lines, you know, building up, getting the some split tones, some altissimo notes in and using a lot of repetitions, you know, to really drive home her points. So in general, I think it's a beautiful rendition of that song. So yeah, do check this video out and learn as much as possible from her if you can. So all in all, beautiful playing by Kaori Kobayashi and, you know, do check out this video if you haven't. We're going to leave the link in our description and check it out, you know, transcribe it. And I think there are several transcriptions already out on YouTube so you can check it out. And once again, my name is Daniel Chia. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more saxophone and music business related content. And I'll see you guys at the next one.